So BEST stands for Boosting Engineering Science and Technology. This is a group of students from 6th grade to 12th grade who get together as a team and they have six weeks to build a robot to complete a task. The competition consists of students building a robot in six weeks. Uh, this, year, this year's game is, is uh, their robots are supposed to go out into the ocean and clean up all that plastic trash that's floating out in the ocean right now. And so the simulated by the robots will be riding along a beam uh, on the field and they will be reaching out and picking up trash from the gyres, uh, the circular discs that are in the middle of the field. And so they, get, they earn points by picking up the trash and, 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 and collecting it and, dispo and properly disposing of it. Students from 6th to 12th grade gathered at the Allen Arena to see the game field for the first time. The competition was sponsored by Nissan so students could participate free of charge. They also do a marketing presentation. You can design a great product, but if you can't market it, you'll never sell it and you won't make any money as a, as a, as a business. And so they will put together a marketing presentation in which they will, uh, in essence, stand before judges, make their presentation as if they were selling their design and trying to earn a contract uh, from a potential client. Lauren also shared why this competition is a unique experience and important for young students pursuing a career in engineering. I know for me, it taught me a lot of fundamentals from the engineering process to how to deal with people. You have a lot of leadership opportunities and that really grew me a lot as a student and especially with the adult mentors that we had, they were extremely helpful and it does a lot for the kids, something you don't get in the normal classroom. Music City Best Robotics Competition continues six weeks from today where students will come back to Allen Arena and compete for a chance to go to semifinals. For Illumination News, I'm Carissa Ricker. In six weeks, the students will bring their robots back to the arena and compete for a chance to advance in the competition. The winners will square off in regionals this winter.